In this tutorial, we show you how to change the color of an object, like Suzanne's head over here, with the scale of, a drive, uh, of another object. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, the first thing you want to do is press numpad 1, select the default cube, press X, delete, shift A, mesh, and let's use Suzanne. Right click Shade Smooth, and let's use the modifier properties to add some subdivisions to make her look a little bit more pretty. And there you have it. We have a beautiful Suzanne. I'm going to press S2 just to scale her. Then press Shift A, Mesh. And now we're going to choose the object that's going to modify her color. And uh, in this case, I am just going to make use of an icosphere. G, X, bring it to the side here. And Shade Smooth. Right, now I'm going to click Suzanne. I'm going to open up the timeline, switch it to the shader editor, click new, and now that we've got this over here, we're going to press shift A, and we're going to type in color ramp, and we're going to connect color ramp to base color, change to material viewport, and then we go yeah, and we just add some random colors. Make this a bit neater. There we go. And we might decide, let's start off with this one. And let's start off with baby blue. Then we're going to switch to green. Then we're going to switch to, let's make this bright, purple, and then we switch to pink, and then we switch to, let's make this, I don't know, that looks okay. Those are pastel colors, which are pretty dope. And all we need to do now, let's make the factor zero, and when you make the factor 100, you can see it change color which is quite nice. And because we can keyframe the factor, we can also right click and we can add driver. Once you've added driver, we're gonna to go to the driver tab and we're gonna open up this and click on this and we can click on this or press N to make a pop-up, click on drivers and we have the script expression here already. So all we need to do is select the object that affects it, which will be this and if we make it the location update dependencies on the x-axis it's gx and we can see it change color based on where this is which is pretty cool but not necessarily the effect i want i want to do it based on size so i just go over here and i say um, average scale now when i click on this and I scale it down changes color which is pretty dope and that's it hopefully you found this tutorial super useful please don't forget to like and subscribe one thing we could do here is we could press G X bring this here S scale this up press control A scale click on this update dependencies and when we press s to change this switches with a little bit more control but it's an interesting effect cool